Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to delete entries from an ALV grid and how to delete these entries from the database as well. This video is an extension of an already existing video of mine with the title ALV grid editable edit and save entries. I link this video above right because the code of the existing video is the basis for this video. So, um, what do we want to do today? We start the report and we see we can edit some entries and we can save these entries. And today we want to check some records and we want to delete these records as well. For this, we need a new icon, a delete icon, and we must know the marked entry of our table. So I go back to the code. I open my folder GUI status and I make a double click on the standard GUI status. And here we see different entries. I open the application toolbar. And here I want to add the delete icon. So I type del here, the function code. And the icon that trash can is automatically added. Then I activate the GUI status, I go back to the code and I activate and run the report. And here we see we have a new icon here, the delete icon, but there is no function implemented yet. So I go back to the code and I scroll down to my user command form and here I, I check the or I check already my, my save icon and I want to write here the check to the delete icon. So I write when and del and here we want to run some code. And for this we First, we need some information, and for this, we read the table it underscore sp fly into a work area. The information in the work area I need it for the delete statement, and I also want to know the index of my record. And so I write p underscore cell field minus tab index. Okay, so with this statement, I read the data from my record with the index. And with this information, we call a new form. So we write perform f underscore delete underscore data using our work area wa underscore sp fly. Okay. And the next step is to write this form named f underscore delete underscore data. So we write this uh, form after the save form. So we command this form, delete data form, f underscore delete underscore data using our work area. From type sp fly. This is our database table. 
we close the form. And let's activate the code, okay. And now we write our delete statement. We have the whole information we need. So we write delete from table sp fly where and here we need the, the keys of our table. Let's have a look. Okay. Now go back and here we see we have here three keys, the client, the care ID and the con ID. And we need these two columns. Okay. So we write where care ID equals wa underscore sp fly from the work area minus care ID and con ID equals wa underscore sp fly minus con ID. This is our delete statement. Mm. If the deletion is successful, we want to do a message. So we check if the super C equals zero. We type message record deleted. From type S. S for success. And else, if we have a problem here, we write message, there was an error. Type E for error. And if pretty print, Okay, so we catch the, the user click and we call the delete form. And in this form, we, we uh, run the delete statement and we delete the record. So let's activate the report. Let's set the breakpoint here. Okay. This is our data from the database. So we check the last record with the con ID two, and we click the delete icon. And now the debugger is open and let's have a look. This is our work area. In this work area, we have our two keys, the care ID and the con ID we need for the deletion. Then go back. So, okay, the, the index not, not valid at this state. So the, the deletion, the delete is already finished. Then we go ahead one step with the key F5 and then F8. And we see here the message record is deleted. But we also see that the, the ALV grid is not refreshed. But the, the database record is deleted. We see the, the record with the con ID 2 is deleted on the database. But this ALV grid is not refreshed. And we want to refresh this, this view. And for this, we have to to read the, the database data again. And let's scroll up to the report. Here we, we read the data and we, we write a, a form where we read the data. We, uh, 
and we pretty print this and we activate and after that we, we call the form get data and we, we copy the, the form and paste it at the end of our code because we need a, a call at the end again. So we scroll down, we copy this get data form here, then activate And after the delete, we read the data from the database table to our internal table again. After the delete. Okay. Then pretty print and activate. So this should work, I think. Let's try. We check the first, we mark the first record, then delete. Okay, the refresh does not work. So we go back to the code. Uh, okay, I think we have to set one more parameters. Uh, in the user command, we use the parameter p underscore self field. And there are some more components here. Let's have a look. There is a component called refresh. And we set this to x. And we set two more parameters. Second is row underscore stable. We set this to X as well. And the third one is car underscore stable. And equals X. Okay. Then activate and run the report again. And now we check the Vienna record. And we click on delete. Yes, and now it works. The ALV grid is refreshed and the record is deleted. So compare this with the database table. We refresh the table and we see there are only three records as well. Yes, um, as always at the end of my videos, the invitation to subscribe my channel if you like the video. Hope we see us again in one of my next videos. Uh, and thank you and goodbye.